YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, sitting at my desk. I have a haul to show you. Uh, we will explain where I got this from. I believe I spent about $60 to $70 on this. Um, there's always lots of stores closing. <laughs> this one is a craft store. I think it's local to our area. It's called Pat Catams. Um, we had a Hobby Lobby move in uh, to a city maybe 20, 25 minutes from me. So I'm sure that helped in the decline. Plus this uh, was also purchased by Michaels. Uh, initially in the beginning of the summer when they uh, bought them and said that they were going to redo maybe half or a little less than half to be Michaels stores. Now it appears that they're just closing them all out and then I guess they'll decide if they're gonna open Michaels stores. So Michaels bought them out. Um, I believe Sunday is the last day they are open. Everything in the store is 80 to 95% off. I hit two stores literally last few days here. So um, I did pick up some stuff to resell. Uh, some of it for eBay, mostly for my booth. Um, that being said, uh, I have what I call an antique booth. It, the store is called Antiques and Uniques. So it is everything from older things to newer things. Uh, there is not a lot of antiques, I would say, because a lot of people are like, how can you say you put that in an antique booth? Because it ain't old. That being said, I like to find unique uh, items, uh, things that I can get at thrift stores or auctions, etc. Things that have been around a while, vintagey things. Um, that's also what I like to sell on eBay. That being said, I do pick up a few items that uh, I think would do well in my booth. And uh, I don't charge a lot for these items, so I don't know. It's just one of those things that I would not like to use a lot of this type of stuff to put in my booth, is what I'm saying. So, that being said, let's jump right in. The, the thing that kind of aggravated me, though, about this is a lot of these stores have, like, a really high price, and then they're always having 50% off on things. So, automatically you go in, and they had a plastic pumpkin about, you know, about this big around and about this tall, and it had $49.99 on it, and it was 80% off. And that was, like, crazy insane. So that would be like you go into a store, and it's like, oh, wow, they got 50% off. Yeah, well, that's the way they market it. So to have, you know, 80% off, you're essentially, you know, you're not, you're saving money. You know, you're going to be able to make money if you're a reseller like me. But it's not like they're handing it and giving it away. And I totally understand I mean, if a place is selling or a place is even going out of business, creditors uh, have a certain way that they uh, do the sale so that they can get as much money as possible. I understand we're all out here, we're all squirrels trying to get a nut, so I'm not going to begrudge anybody <laughs> that. So, needless to say, I did not buy the pumpkin. So it would be, what, two, four, six, eight, like ten bucks, and it, and it's funny because as soon as I walk in the door, they have a big bin of them. And that was the first thing I saw, and I was like, I wonder how many people look at that and go, I am not even going in there. So, Okay, so that being said, let's jump right in, show you the awesomeness that I got, because I have a decent amount to go, and I'm already four minutes in, and I'm still yapping. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here a while, welcome back. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. I have all my social media and my snail mail down in the description box, as well as uh, my eBay store. And uh, check me out, stick around for a while, maybe you'll find some things that you enjoy. So let's get to it. So the price I'm going to show you is, uh, consider 80, I think it's 80% off was most of this, uh, most of these items. Um, this was $6.97. I just thought this was so cute and I am very tempted to keep this. And it's just a little sign that says, you and me, isn't that sweet? So it says Made in America. So I don't know where this where this company is. P, what is it? P. Graham Dunn. So yeah, but that is adorable. And it's got the little kickstand there. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know. Should I keep it? <laughs> so I only got one of those because that's all they had. I uh, did get this salt and pepper shaker. It looks like a little barn and a silo. $10. It was, I believe, 80 or 90% off. Again, I can't remember. 
so this was a dollar or two um i usually sell um um salt and pepper shakers six seven dollars depending on how old they are unique etc etc so um i am considering hanging on to a few of these items until next spring and then have like a farmhouse shabby chic kind of setup in our booth uh, so if I do that, then this definitely will be part of that. Um, I did get two piggies. It's funny, they had, these were under patriotic. They're solid wood. Because they had uh, ones that were red and ones that were white. So I don't know if the blue ones sold. And then they had these plain ones. I like the plain ones better. Um, these were uh, eleven ninety nine, And then, of course, they were 95% uh, off. So, not too bad. This is the uh, name Darice, which is a crafting company. So, I thought those were adorable. Um, I did get some cross-stitch kits. The first time I went, it was like a week before they closed. And then the last time I went was like two days before they closed. So, I really didn't find that much at the second place. But I did get two of these home cross-stitch. And you can uh, personalize... Uh, the name on the bottom and of course they have the thread which is already sorted which if you've ever done any kind of cross stitch you appreciate that so yeah this is pineapple home counted cross stitch and these i don't remember how much they were i don't know i don't remember how much those were oh i have one that's similar it's also dimensions it was 7.99 so it was uh i think 80 percent off of that this one says owl trio Aren't they cute? Um, also, that one's done on blue. All of them are separated. These I'm probably going to look up and see how they do on eBay. Because I don't really sell craft... We used to do crafting items, crafting kits. But crafting uh, material did not seem to do too good in our booth. Not sure why that is. We don't have a lot of room to spend putting up a lot of the stuff. So... I don't know. I did get two of these. These are also owls. They say have hope. Aren't they sweet? And of course, again, these are already uh, sorted. It looks like there's beads or something around his eyes. And little little seed beads down there. Uh, Design Works is the brand. It's 10 inch by 10 inch counted cross stitch. Oh, that's adorable. My mother, for years and years and years and years, did counted cross stitch. Um, I, one of these days I'll have to show you, I've done three uh, big ones. Uh, one is in my bathroom. One uh, I gave as an anniversary gift to Mr. Pudgy Picker. And then another one was another anniversary gift, but it's done on black and it's different uh, planets. That was really difficult to do that one. So one of these days I will show those to you. I did get these two, the say, um, Fabric Diva. Isn't that sweet? So I got two of those. These were also uh, $7.99. Everything's in there. The only thing I see about these that might slow them up in selling is a uh, standard. They're usually done on 14 count, which means there's 14 squares per inch. This one is double that. It's 28 count. So if your eyeballs could handle that, I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, I got two of those. And this is Alma Lynn. I'm sure you've seen her sculptures and uh, different pictures and things, cards. Um, very distinctive kind of styling she does. I think these, these are 18 count. And this is, they're print, well, they have a printed board and then it's 18 count. One is this llama. Isn't he adorable? And then it has the, you know, the matting, the little polka dot. Isn't that sweet? Oh, um, this one was $6.99. It says it fits in an 8x10 frame once you uh, have the mat. So $6.99 plus 80% off. And then this one is Stitch and Mat. And that one's a pineapple. Isn't that sweet? Very cute. Um, these, these are nice for someone who wants to try uh, cross stitch, but they don't really want to buy like a huge... I think people get discouraged when they try crafts because they, it's like, oh, count a cross stitch and they get this huge thing and then they get an hour or two in and they're like, oh my God, this is horrible. So this kind of thing, it's not that much. It's a very simple design. It's very cute. It would be a nice gift. It won't take a huge amount of time. 
uh, counted cross stitch is very labor intensive and but it is beautiful when it's done my mother did many 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 pieces okay so that's all the cross stitch let me uh, toss them down um, a couple of these I might take out to my booth right away because they are fall um, all fall things were 80% off I got two of these this is happy harvest this um, it's not gingham what is it buffalo check is very popular now um, this one was 10, so they were two. Uh, so this is fabric, and then it's got the little raffia and the metal leaves. So like I said, I got two of those. So something like this, I paid two. They were asking originally 10. I'll probably put 758 maybe on them. So we will see how those do. Uh, this is a little hanging bird, and it says friends. This one was 597. Uh, and it was, I believe, uh, uh, 80. I'm just going to guess they're 80% off. Uh, this one might have been 95 off, and this is the crazy part. When I see this, I just, I shake my head. Uh, this one looks like a tag. This one says spring, and it says welcome on it. So the spring stuff, since it was so out of season, accordingly, was 95% off. But the regular, they have a regular price and then the Catan's Club price. That's what they're doing the discount off of. $21.99. Is that crazy or what? So 95% off. Yeah. $21. I, I see that and I'm like, it's a good thing the world isn't as cheap as me because retail would not exist. <laughs> That's the way it is. These are very adorable. They're just metal signs. $249, 80% off. And they just say, explore more. Isn't that sweet? So I got two of those. These two might go out. Uh, these were $3.99 each. So they were $20, $40, $60, $0.80 a piece. And they just say harvest. That's adorable. Oh. Those are cute. So you can hang those up or they have a little, well, I don't think they'll stand up on their own because they're not really thick. Uh, kind of like this one, you know, this one you could hang up or it's thick enough to just set it down. Um, picture frames were also 80% off. Um, some of the bigger ones were just like, what? How many, you want how much? Uh, even this one is a four by six. It's like a rustic looking wood. It's of course not wood because what is anymore. Uh, $10.99, so I paid a little over two bucks on this. And it's just this basic wood, like almost like a whitewashed or pickled finish on it. Uh, so I got that one. These are good for crafts. I have used them in the past and they were really, really, really cheap. Um, they are just essentially burlap uh, wrapped around wood. Um, you could do like on here it looks like keys but they're actually like a stamp uh so you could uh i don't know you could just about do any kind of uh any kind of craft on here so these two uh are eight by eight and then these two little ones are five by five so i'm sure i'll think of something cute and simple to do that with uh, I got two more frames, I believe. This one is kind of a whitewash frame. This one was $6. And it holds a 4 by 6 And so it was $6. So $20, $40, $60, $80, $1.20, essentially. This one's really pretty. Um, it was $14.97. So it was like 3 bucks, And it's got this, uh, this dark... You hear the dogs coming up the stairs? This is what they do. Tater! She aggravates Pixel so much. I know. you got to give me a minute. You're walking on my stuff. So this has like this gold, uh, almost like stamped on. And the opening again is 4 by 6 um, This one says Farmer's Market, and it has this little metal arrow on it. This one was $13.99. So, again, like 3 bucks. Um, these are cute and I have no idea what I'm going to use them for, but all of their tags and tagging items were 95% off. Uh, and these are, they're not really burlap, they look like a linen almost, one and a half by two. 
and three quarters, 15 little grommet uh, little tags. So I'm sure I could use those for something. We have Welcome to Our Farmhouse. This is kind of almost like a basket, which is kind of cool. Uh, I forget how much this one was. I think this was probably, the last three were probably like $17 or $18.99 and then the 20% off. So I liked that one. And then this one says, Life is Better on the Farm. This is metal. Um with the wood trim. So that's probably pretty much the same price. And this one says, welcome to our farmhouse. And then it has this, uh, this little pickup truck with, what is it, just flowers and veggies and stuff. Isn't that adorable? It has a little way to hang it. This one, uh, I think was 20 and then it was 80% off in that suite. So yeah, um, what else did I get? Uh, I got two of these uh, Madagascar Raffia. Always using these. I think these were like a dime. They had a huge bin of them. So that definitely, uh, I always use those. Sometimes I would even take that and then maybe make a bow or something and then have it like hanging down. So that's something I always pick up. I have one more bag here on the floor. This is when I went this last time. So the stuff isn't as, I don't know, isn't as nice, as plentiful. Uh, I did look these up. It says, Craft Yourself Silly Proggy by Numbers. Now, this evidently is a UK company, and it has this fleece where you do some kind of, like, tying it. It says, uh, let's see, fleece fabric, backing fabric, pre-drawn hessian jute, and instructions. Uh, these are going for a pretty decent amount, and a lot of the ones that I did see on eBay are from the UK. So these were $10 each, and then they were 80% off, so I paid $2. So this one is a boat, sailboat. So I think I got two, yeah, I got two of the sailboats. And then I had to be careful because some of these were totally just opened and beat up, and I'm like... I, I don't even know if I know what all is in there, if everything is in there or not, so I was a little concerned. Actually, I have three of boats. Uh, I like that because when you go to list multiple items and you have uh, the same one, that definitely makes listing easier. These are a little jute or burlap bag that has a tree on it. And as you can see, everything's in there. And I have... Two of those, those are also ten dollars. Uh, actually, make is that three? Yeah, I have three of them. So, three of the sailboats and three of the trees, and then something I use occasionally, but it was so cheap. Um, I got three of them. Let's see if I could find the price on these. I don't know if I remember. I think these were nine dollars, maybe nine or ten dollars. And it is the uh, chicken wire, and the size that's in here is 18 by 39 inches. So I did pick up one, two, oh, three of those. So these were like a buck and a half. So that was definitely worth it. Um, the, those are even nice, even if you have um, a uh, frame that doesn't have a backing to put something like that. That would look really nice. Oh, I guess I did pick up another one of those. And then my daughter got a couple of these. They are bento boxes. Um, and she had this one. And then she noticed that it had this chip in the corner. And the lady says, just take it. So, uh, yeah, I think these were $16.99 and they were 90% off. So it's just a basic uh, eco-friendly little box that people do for lunches. So that was free. <laughs> you haven't heard me say that in a while, have you? And then this last item, I, I cannot think, I paid maybe a dime for them. I got um, these metal, like, jump rings. There's 150 in each. I literally got probably 30 packages of these because I use these when I make my 35-millimeter uh, slide lamps. So I got tons of these. Um... And I am going to be doing a tutorial on that because I just, I know every time I mention it and then I say, you know, I'm going to do a video and I never do because 
I don't know. So I probably should because I have tons of 35 millimeter slides and now I have tons of these and any old lamp and a shade will do. I think the last item I got, and this I'm actually going to use in our booth, uh, it is a banner and it's these different color, different designs in the turquoise. And I think there's 24 in here. So what I think we're gonna do is take a string and then punch a couple holes in the top of these and then do like booth sale or something because uh, beginning of the year, we're gonna be clearing out some stuff. So uh, I thought that would be very adorable and unique to do that. And I believe that is all that was in there. So it's a decent amount of stuff. Like I said, I paid like 70 bucks for everything. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I have two lampshades and some fuzzy ducks. <laughs> so these, I guess, were for Easter. So these were 95% off. These little guys are $7.99. Look at that little face. Uh, yeah. Mm, yep. And I have my fan on. Can you see his little feathers are blowing? So I got two of the little boy ones. I don't know if I'm going to sell these as a set or what, but I got two of the little boy ones and then two of the little girl ones with their hair done. Oh, they got the flowers. That's sweet. Oh, that's so cute. Little ducky feet. So yeah, those aren't too bad. So I'll probably put those away till spring and see how they do. These were also 90% off. Um, I'm sure I could probably do a couple of different projects. I could put these on a regular lamp or they have the opening in there. So I could probably, I have some of those, uh, you put it in there and do the little fixture on there. And then I could have a Edison bulb. So I got two of those. So not too bad. Um, vintage lighting lampshade, 12 inches by six inches. So yeah, not too bad on those. I will definitely be able to make a project um, that's got more of that farmhouse kind of feel as well. Got to ride that train as long as it is on the tracks. <laughs> so uh, what did you think? I mean, when you guys are reselling, do you ever uh, uh, shop places that are going out of business? A certain amount of this stuff I will be hanging on to for a while. So even if I do go to resell it, hopefully it will be a distant memory to people who uh, knew when the store was closing. Like I said, this farmhouse stuff, this will probably definitely be in the spring. So that's the plan, and I'm going to stick to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Again, all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook group um, are down in the description box. The Facebook group is Antique Booth Talk. And uh, I guess I will see you guys next time. And get out there and source no matter where you're finding good stuff. There's always something to be had. And I just saw something I forgot. So I'll turn it for you real quick. <laughs> I got this this jar with the, uh, with the chicken wire on it. It was $12.97 and 90% off. So that is it. That is all. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.